The village of Primorska in Ukraine's Zaporizhzhia region is about 25 kilometers away from the Russian-occupied village of Vasilivka. Vladimir, a Primorsky resident who, like others in this story, did not provide a last name, says a life is a constant danger. They're shelling us every day, during the day and at night. They did last night and two days ago, and before that, my neighbor died. Despite the attacks, some 1,500 people still live in Primorska, compared with 4,000 before Russia's invasion. There are families with kids here too, including Halina, her husband and her seven children, ages 2 to 15. Kids don't want to leave. They're going to school here, online, but still. The older ones help the younger kids. While her husband is at work, Halina does chores and looks after the kids. The family owns four goats, a cow and some fowl. She says they can't leave the animals behind. I think when you have your own land, you try not to leave until the very last moment. Some left and then came back. We also left for a short while and came back. And I think I'll never leave again. Halina's kids spend most of their days outside. After almost two years of war, they no longer hide when they hear air raid sirens. We used to it now. We've seen rockets fall nearby and over there in the fields. Because of frequent shelling, Primorske is often left without electricity. Another issue is water, which locals used to take from the Kahovka Dam. After the dam collapsed in June, what used to be a water reservoir here at Primorske is now just reeds and occasional puddles. There is no water and it doesn't look like we are going to get any water anytime soon. Maybe after the war is over, but we'll see. Right now, no one will do anything about this. The shelling might not scare them, but the coming winter does. This year, the government won't be helping with procuring firewood, say employees of the local administration. There is no state program this year, unfortunately, but we have reached out to six charity foundations. We are reaching out to whoever we can, hoping someone will help with getting firewood and pallets, something we can use to stay warm. But nothing official has come through yet. Halina tries to stay positive despite everything. Her family has already stored up enough firewood for the winter. For Eva Mironova in the Zaporizhzhia region, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.